Friends, grace and peace to you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For many years, our psalm for, for today, Psalm 23, has been a passage of scripture that has been treasured by many Christians to give them comfort, even in the times of trouble and distress. These words have calmed the storm of life for many people, not just those who have studied scripture, but to all who have had their ears opened, but their hearts broken due to circumstances that are outside of their control. There are times in your lives where you may not know where to turn, but the 23rd Psalm tells you that you are never alone and that God is always there to guide you through whatever turmoil you may pass through. Our brother Joe, just like you, has seen the good things that life can give. In his baptism and in all baptisms, God names the baptized as his own child through the water and the word in the form of a promise. The promise does not ever come with, con with expectations of what you need to do. What Joe and you have received is a promise of forgiveness of your sins through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. All of us are sinners. Myself, you, and Joe have all sinned against God by what we have done to our neighbors and by what we have not done for our neighbors. But when we do this, God's word of forgiveness comes to us through the proclamation of the gospel. The preaching of the word through the teachings of Jesus Christ will give you faith to trust in what God has promised. The promise will give you comfort when trouble, distress, or death comes into your lives. There are images that come to mind when we think of the words from Psalm 23. One of those is in the regard is in regard to the times of trial. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. There will be times and are times in your life when things will get tough. God has never said that things will go perfect and run smoothly in your lives. It would be wonderful if God had promised that you would never have to go through hard times. But this is not the case. Peter even wrote about trying times in his first letter in chapter 4, verse 12. It reads, Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that is taking place among you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. You will go through difficult times, but you hear that God is with you, and he will comfort you in these times. Another image from Psalm 23 that will help you at the, today in this time of mourning. It says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow, follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. God's grace and mercy was, was disposed Excuse me. God's grace and mercy was bestowed upon Joe at his baptism and continued to be with him throughout his life. Even in the midst of his pain when Ruth died six years ago. These words gave Joe comfort that God's mercy would remain with him and that he would always remain one of God's children. Today, you can use these same words to know that God's grace is also bestowed upon you in this day of sadness. Throughout your life, God's grace and mercy will be what will get you through these tough times. As we get closer to Easter, you will be reminded of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. These are the stories that many of you know by heart through your years of studying scripture in church and in Sunday school. All three of these, life, death, and resurrection, must stay together when you hear the promise, the promises that God has given you. You cannot have death without first having life. And you cannot have resurrection without 
death occurring. In the waters of baptism, all of you, including Joe, were baptized into a life like Christ. But you were also baptized into a death like Christ, so that you will be also be resurrected like Christ. All of us have, have experienced life, all aspects of it, the good times and the hard times. When life, when, when life, with life, then comes death, even though we try to stop death from happening. The good thing for you and for Joe is that this is not the end. Jesus Christ lived and died and was resurrected. These things are what he did for you and for Joe. Christ defeated the powers of sin, death, and the devil, so that you will be resurrected, just as he has done. He has done this out of his love for you and for me. Faith comes to us when we hear these promises. When God gives a promise, we trust that it will happen. Joe first received a promise at his baptism, and today God has given him one more promise. The promise that death will not have the final say over Joe. Through the, through the tough and hard times that, we are all fa that you are all facing right now, remember that God has called you here to this place. God is with you. God will walk with you. And God will give you strength and be your refuge. Lean on these promises and trust in them. May they bring light into your darkness and peace into your hearts. Amen.